Hello, and welcome back, my warriors of Jigoku. Hopping back into Dynasty Warriors 9 yet again. It is time to... Whoa, I just lifted my mic way too high there. Okay. Um, so we're hopping back in. And we're going to be doing a little bit of Yue Jin action this time. Game, okay, please. And it's mostly due to the fact that he is that his new DLC weapon... Well, not really new. I guess you could pretty much consider this to be the return of uh, his hook blades. So we're going to be hopping in here with it, with uh, the weapon he has right now, which is the two giant mace things. I actually don't know the name. Twin rods, idiot. And uh, just to pretty much get some hype up for, uh, get some training in, get some hype for his new... Or I can't say new, because it's literally the exact same recycled weapon, just his DLC. So yeah, we're just skipping all this because... And it's funny enough, this is actually the first time I'm actually touching you, Ajin. So, like I mentioned earlier in one of my other videos, uh, so, so far I'm just doing some training with these characters just to get the feel for him again. And then we're going to... And then when the DLC comes out for him, I'll be popping back into onto these characters with their DLC weapons to show them off. So I made sure to get done, everything done already. Let's see how far is he. Oh, he's like right over here. So there's going to be Yue Jin, who I'm doing now. I've already done Jotai, Sun Jian, and Zhang Fei. Uh, I believe the other one that they mentioned was Sima Shi, I but I just don't know who the Crescent Edge is for so far. That's the only one I don't know. So if you all know, Feel free to let me know, because I don't. Uh, you know what? Just fast travel. Doing Hulao Gate again, because this was Yuijin's first mission. When he was first introduced. Hmm. So before I went into goodness gracious, I can't think straight today. Oh yeah, but so before I actually started his story, I went and got his best weapon already bought. Uh, his stats pretty much just go with the sit with the way the game sets it at to, to begin with. So the only thing that's really going for me right now is his weapon. Also, can I upgrade him at all? Whoops. Because you know me. I gotta go for the speed first. Alright, that should help a little bit. Oh yeah, actually. Let's uh, fast travel. We'll go here. Real quick. I want to change up the music. Because I'm tired of listening to the same old thing. Since we're doing Hula Gate, I'll do the original one like I did last time. I think with Bao Sun Young. Open the door, fool. Okay. Change music. We'll, go, we'll do... I'm not really a fan of the Dynasty Warriors 5 one. But we'll do this one. I wish they had Wall of Fate, though. Okay, I was just double-checking to make sure they didn't. They do not. All right. So, actually, let's see where we need to do first. We'll probably... You know, we'll knock out the north ones first. Those are actually the most annoying ones anyway. In my opinion. So, this is actually my first time touching the Twin Rods to begin with, so... This is going to be new for me as well. Damn. Okay. I like how that move's still in here, even though he's carrying two giant twin rods. He's very agile to be carrying these. Yeah, these just... I mean, they're cool looking, but they just... 
I feel like these are probably like Taishit Sis or something. But funny enough, when I went to go get them, it said that these were Yuha Jin's. Or well, I I went I us what I usually do because you can't for people who like start the story very early, you don't get really strong weapons at the start. So, you know, so to counteract that, I have them go to the very last like chapter for like Shu or Wei or Jin, excuse me. And that way I can just purchase their weapon. So, I end up doing that and then just hopping back in here. Ow. Alright, who we got over here? I'm gonna try this Muso, actually. I'm gonna laugh and when I... Really? It literally is the hook blade move so. It was weird just seeing him with these weapons. They just they just don't go well with him, from in my opinion. Like his move set, like they're very quick. They definitely deserve the dual hook blades back. So if anyone would deserve theirs back. It's definitely Yujin. And now that I'm playing as him, I can definitely see why the hook blades needed to come back instead of him using the twin rods. Uh, let's see here. So there's. Oh yeah, I might as well get this one. I think right. Okay, yeah, those two aren't linked together. Yep. Uh, just a reminder. I usually go with uh, what I do with these videos. I usually show off what they look like, what they're like now with their weapons. And then I'll be doing the gameplay of them when they actually do come out. Because with um, with the trailers that they show us, the gameplay trailers and everything, like they're cool to look at, but they're like a couple seconds, so they don't really show off everything and every move. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Can I just go straight to the Yellow River? I mean, I know exactly where the man is. I doubt it would be that easy, but... So I've got a bit of a fun uh, schedule to go through here. So, first thing I want, I'm going to end up recording is obviously this, and I'm going to also be doing... Well, I don't want to... I'm assuming it will be Simisher, but I'm just going to leave it until like people actually tell me yes this was Simisher's weapon and then who's going to tell me who the Crescent Edge's weapon is so I'm going to leave those two be until I get told like what those are so for now it's going to be Yuijin I'm going to do finally start off the Persona playthrough that I wanted to do and I'm probably going to do a couple parts of that because if I just do the first part and I try to make them like a, at a decent okay length it's going to be like an hour-long tutorial and then just nothing. For me, when I do playthroughs, I like to do. I try to get the play the, the, the tutorial out and get some gameplay inside with it, and then I would cut it. So that would usually make the first part usually extremely lengthy. And then the rest of the parts would usually just be like a single mission or something like that. So I think what I'm going to do with Persona, I'm just going to start from the very beginning of the game. Like, just going to start from scratch. Okay, yeah. Heading towards the Yellow River. I feel like this and the Elder of Rebellion have been, like, the most, like, played missions on my uh, Dynasty Warriors 9 video so far. Because that just shows I don't... Like, the game... Like, it's pretty... It's fun. I find it fun. But, like, there's things where you just, like, don't want to replay them because people end up having the same weapons or you just kind of, like, just tone out from the game because, like, sometimes there's just not enough to do. But I'll tell you right now, and I'm not trying to hate on the game because I do like the game, but I feel like this game has a little bit more to do than Warriors Archie 4 does. Can I just talk to the man? Put your axe away so I can talk to you like a civilized man, not a Wawia. 
I mean, I'm a Wawia who needs help, but... Put the damn axe away. I fail. He's right here. Just talk to him. Thank you. That's lovely. Thank you. Oh, there's a little treasure area over here. Ooh. I also like Yuijin's like very modest character. Let me grab this first. Guess that was a couple things I did not get yet. Oh my god. So there should be one more thing up here. Yep. By the way, um, I'm going to start doing requests on these because uh, someone actually did mention in one of my previous videos that they would have liked me to do a playthrough of someone. So I'm going to just... Because I I meant I put requests up to do stuff for this game early uh, when I before the game actually came out, and I pretty much met most of them. But uh, no, actually no, I think I got every single one that people mentioned. I think almost at least. Of course, like I'm not perfect, so there's gonna be a couple that I missed. But like people, someone was wanting like a whole playthrough of uh oh sweet, just fire arrows just raining down. I think those are friendlies though because they're aiming. Look like they were aiming towards the enemy. What level are they? 30? Oh, hell. Alright. Can you not? It just amazes me how agile this man can be when he has these giant twin rods. Nope, wrong person. I'm smart. What just happened? Stop! I just realized how dumb that was to do that so far away. Cool. Did pretty much nothing. This will, though. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. I don't know why the heat's like, make me feel a little bit on the tired side. Probably like, close my vent or something. Alright, so we're gonna go down all the way south now. Yeah, this is the mission we want to do first. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to try to make, I mean, it's probably gonna go over 30 minutes because usually these videos do because missions are very long in this game. Don't know if you could tell. But I'm going to try to make it so it doesn't go too long. Just so I can record more. Because I really want to start Persona. There's just so much hype when going around when uh, Joker was announced as uh, the first DLC character in Smash. Yeah, I'm not trying to activate that yet. So I really want to just hop into it. Hop into Persona. Because, I mean, also I've been wanting to do it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, red hair. There you go. So I want to capitalize on the hype that I have right now for him being in the game and just start start a Persona playthrough. Oh wait, I already know what you want. Yeah, whatever. The heat is blowing it like right in my face right now. I'm probably about to close that vent because it's getting warm in it's getting a little too warm in here. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Like how uh it was making me aim at other people who I wasn't even looking at. Yeah, the twin rods aren't bad. The twin rods themselves aren't bad. I just don't see all these moves working for Yui Jin with these weapons. 
I'm not going to throw any huge hate at it, but... Just doesn't suit him too well. I Maybe mean, he had like a whole moveset rehaul, which he didn't. With his like chart, like his specials and everything, then maybe. But he, but like I said, he didn't. So there's, <laughs> kind of just looks silly. So the dual hook blades need to come back. Come on, you ain't shoe. Let me talk to you, please, please. I'm trying. Let me talk to the fool. There we go. All right. I feel like since I've done this like 8,000 times already, I'm kind of like okay with... I should know all this stuff pretty much by heart. I'm really excited to see the new scenarios for the new for the other characters, though. I feel like it would have been cool, but at the same time, we got four brand... No, I mean, we didn't just get four new characters. We got more than four new characters. But... We actually got a decent amount of characters in this game, which was pretty cool. But I don't know why. I felt like if they were going to do a season... Another season pass, they could have, like... Maybe given us at least maybe maybe two at least more characters for again because I feel like there's still some officers that could probably be in this game that aren't maybe some more of the other category would have been cool like like for instance we just got I feel like Kuish Young wasn't a big necessity to have as a DLC character but he was a cool addition but like. I don't know why. I feel like someone maybe like Gong Soon Zun would have been cool. Um, trying to think of who else. Maybe someone like for like um, Yuan Shu's army. Like I think people have always mentioned like Ji Ling would be a good addition. Who's pretty much always just like a top guy for Yuan Shu's army and everything. I think maybe more other characters would have been cool, yeah. Ooh. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me let me know what kind of characters you think would have been cool. Like, ones that are pretty much generic officers here that could have been in the game. It, could, it doesn't have to be from others. It could just be from Shu, Wu, Wei, Other, anything. Jin. Alright, I'm not going to ride right here all the way over there. Uh, yeah, I usually help them out with this one first. Just want to keep doubling back and forth. Alright. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Alright, so I'm at... Okay, yeah, break through the ravine. And now for this giant drop. That should potentially kill us. Or at the very least, shatter the legs of red hair. I don't care how great red hair is. I don't think red hair could survive a fall like that. And possibly at the very least destroy Eugen's groin. I'll give it that at the least. I think some people mentioned like uh, maybe a Dong Zhuo officer could have been in here, like uh, Li Jue. Because he was around even after uh, Dong Zhuo's death. I don't see those characters having super long stories. I feel like they would be like Sunjian long, probably like a couple chapters here and there. But I think it'd still be a cool addition to see them. Or you can give them like hypothetical stuff as well, like like they did with Dong Bai, Hu Xiong, Ji Hao Ji. Those could have been pretty cool. I keep forgetting the fourth DLC character. Oh wait, duh, you went shoe. Literally mentioned his name like ten times already. Alright, so let's go rescue this village over here. And I think I have to take Sishui Gate first and then go to uh, es the escort mission. I don't know. I never really pay attention to it, so I'm going to find out. Oh yeah, also, I finally put wallpapers during my loading screen. I forgot you could do that. I was always like looking at other YouTubers' uh, videos and they're like, 
I was just I was just sitting there like, oh, you could put uh, wallpapers on their loading screen. It's like you could always do that on color games. I don't know why you could on this one, and I just never did it until recently. I think I had wallpapers for my Bowson Young video as well. I am here to help. Also, this is probably really dumb of me to say, and this could probably get me, uh, like, ranted at, like, how did you not know this? But, uh, I'm gonna give another big shout out to Chris Gildart because I was, I checked out one of his videos during, like, apparently a Christmas challenge kind of video he did. And I actually had no idea about HDMI adapters for PlayStations and Xbox, like the, ori like the original one. So, I'm planning on probably getting something like that too and probably hopping into very old games that I found very fun back in the day. Just for nostalgia's sake. Why do I always say steak? Sake. I always for some reason put a T in there. I don't know why. I would love to record some of the PlayStation 2 original Xbox games I have on here. I think that would be awesome to do. There we go. Maybe start from like Dynasty Warriors 2 and go all the way like up into this game. That'd be pretty cool. Because the also crap part, I lost one of the memory cards for my PlayStation 2, so some of so some of the date save data from some of the Dynasty Warriors games didn't come go through. So I have to like start all over again on some on one of them or on some of them. I know Dynasty Warriors 4, which is really upsetting because I had a lot in that game. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 2, which isn't the biggest deal. That was pretty much just a progress kind of thing. Um. Five as well, I think. Yeah, five. I think the only one that didn't really get the shaft was three. Well, I'm saying that, but I only know because I think I have all the... Okay, yeah, here. Oh, I can do this first. Okay, I'll just do this first, and then I'll worry about C. Shui Gate. Now we can just focus on the two main battles that everyone remembers. C. Shui Gate and Hulao Gate. And then just going after Fat Boy in the capital. I don't know why, but I feel like... Give me a second. Okay. As I was saying... I feel like... Um... Hulao Gate and the Yellow Term Rebellions were always like two of my absolute favorite missions in these games. Nice swing, idiot. I thought those green guys were enemies. I forgot that, uh, not the case. That is blue base forces that are on my side. Okay, so these guys are done. Keep going further down, because I'm pretty sure they just auto spawn in. Yep, here they come. What? Oh, okay, I thought it was going up in the air. I like how quick the stun attack is. Oh, more bandit leaders. Be gone. <laughs> Ooh, lag. I like how his uh, thing's still going on because I accidentally triggered it, but I'm not actually there. I 
Hold on, game. I gotta make sure I get through this first. Isn't there enemies at the village? Or am I wrong about that? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know why. I thought there was going to be enemies here. Cool. Now I can go help out. You're welcome, sir. Okay, so we want... Well, wait, let me... Okay, there we go. Oh, it hasn't completely gotten rid of yet. Okay, now it has. Alright, all that's left is Sishui Gate and Hulao Gate. Let's get over the gate and uh, help out... Th Help out the friends. Can I make it over here? Oh, nice jump. Alright, I'm here. That's a pretty okay entrance, if I may do. If I, if I may say so myself. Ooh, gotta go for the defense captain. Defense captains. Yeah, like the twin rods are really cool. I just don't see his move working super well with this uh, at all. <laughs> like his moves, just like even though they're really fun, and I don't usually like pay attention to the fact that I'm using twin rods. It's just when I actually do notice, it's like wow, these moves just don't really work with these giant rods that he's dual wielding right now. Must be a very strong man to be able to be this agile with these twin rods. Alright. Where is the ring? Why is it so far away? Okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I saw something here. Can I? Oh, yep, sure can. Assist Hua Xiong? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not right. You better back the hell off that thing. But here's the funny thing the gate's open, so what's the point? Tell me that. There's really no point for this ram to be here to begin with. It was completely and utterly pointless. Unless they said that was like a ruse to like get him out, then it worked flawlessly. I didn't really pay attention to that fact. I love the old music so much. Yeah, uh, three, threes, fours, and sixes. It was probably my absolute favorite soundtrack. I feel like I mentioned like the soundtracks in the previous uh, video, and I said something completely half-assed different. So that's how I feel right now. I'll just say that. That's how I feel right now. Those are my top three. And yes, it's pretty much getting to the time of the video <laughs> that I said it would pretty much be at. It's going to be a little lengthy. For me, if it's over 30 minutes, it's going to be a little lengthy. Game, please stop lagging. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I could charge him. Whoa, the frames are looking really bad right now. Okay, we're back. We're in here. We're fine. Okay, I was about to say, something's happening here. Yeah, it's Labu. I don't know why, when I look at the, uh, like, wallpapers and stuff, when or just the picture design that they show for, uh, Shao Kiao, every time I look at the other women, they just look like they were actually, like, models from the game. Shao Kiao looks like an actual, like, legitimately really good, like, drawing. Yujin hit him. There we go. Good man. God, he's an all-over-the-place kind of character, but I actually really like it. Okay. So there's Lu Bu over there. I could go take out his waifu and, uh, then end his waifu. But I'm a man of honor. That there's other people I could be fighting right now. So yeah, I see Zhang Liao's up there. I guess I have to take down the people down here first. I guess I'll go do that first. Thank you, Liu Bei. Well, get out of here! Okay. Yeah, this is a bit of a design flaw. Why didn't they consider the fact that I could just walk around the gate? Silly people. Can't be leaving giant design flaws like that. You can easily avoid Lupu. Okay. Well, actually, I'm heading in the direction of his waifu, so I might actually end up taking her out first. We'll see what happens. If it leads me to her, then so be it. I have to get down there, though. I'm assuming it's around this way. Who's down here, anyway? Absolutely frickin' no one. Just some, just some soldiers. Okay, there's one over here. Oh, sweet insect bait. And the ultimate bait. Along with some fish bait. And something I could not pick up. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah! Where are you going, Liru? Goodbye. Right, let's go take out a uh, Jung Liao over here. Jung Liao, but I see us being really good friends in the future. I don't know what tells me that. But I just see us being really good friends in the future, so let's just have a very honorable f duel. Alright, good game. Oh, so yeah, you just had to take out Zhang Liao in order for the gate to open, so I'm assuming that means Lu Bu's gonna just leave. Kinda just wanna sit here and see what happens. Oh, so you really don't have to fight him. Yes, he is 100% killable in this game, which is really disappointing. Wow, yeah, okay. That's... I guess that's cool. Like, you can still make it seem like he's too intimidating to fight or something, but, like, he's 100% killable in this game. He is, it's pathetic how killable he is in this one. Such a modest person you are, Eugene. That's why I like you. I can't pick any of that up. I 
Alright, next stop is Lil Young, I believe. Yep, that's the last one. I even took Wubu's horse as a prize. Yeah, this mission's actually surprisingly long. Maybe if I fast traveled the entire time, maybe it would have been a little bit better, but sometimes I just like to, to ride the horse. Go on a nice little horse ride. Alright, so can we get a ramp set up here or something? Kind of want to just do this the old fashioned way, but I don't see anyone setting up a ramp, so I'm assuming I'll just have to uh, go the cheap way. I remember back in 6, they actually showed people like constructing ever the, the rams and the, like the ladders and stuff. But it uh, doesn't look like that's going to be the case here, so I might as well just open up the gate myself for these people. You know, once I'm dumb and get out of the water. Or once I'm not dumb and get out of the water. Steve, I'm still just dumb. Yeah, I'll just go open up the gate for him. Screw it. The path is already clear, fool. Right. Who needs a ram when you have the cheap-ass grapple hook? There we go. Come on in, guys. It is kind of sad. I would really like to have seen what would happen to the land if, like... Soon Jian did live. That's kind of, I kind of wish they had like uh, a hypothetical scenario of like if he never died to begin with, like they didn't eight. I mean, apparently he would just hand over the reins, but like, what what if they made it just a hypothetical scenario where like he never died and he was always uh, in charge and everything? Like Soon uh, Soon Chuan never like actually took charge. That would have been really cool to see. Let's open up this gate as well, so the friends can come through. You're not friends. You're not dead? Why aren't you dead? <laughs> Nani? Also, oh, these my militia people? They absolutely are, because they're going in every direction I previously went in. Uh, like I mentioned, I don't want to drag this on, so I'm probably just going to do the boring thing and just use the grapple hook here. I think I can grapple hook from here, yep. Whoa! What's going off the... Please. Let's see, can I get up from here? Sure can. Well, we're just going to skip all of that. Aw, oh, rip. Would like to, like, sneak attack him or something. Nah, well. I mean, this is pretty much a sneak attack here once I do this. Nope, they're aware. <laughs> Come on, Tong Zhuo. Come on! Come on, I know you can put up a fight. Come on. Come on. Okay, never mind. Good game. My throne, my throne, my throne, my throne, my throne, my throne, my throne. It's gonna be mine! Yeah! Oh. Well, oh, rip. Actually, I'll just let this go. Um, Alright, so there you have it. You could pretty much. It was pretty much just a little bit of showing off Yui Jin of what he is now. I'm gonna be doing another video when the DLC comes out with him. And I'm gonna be showing off the, the double the dual hook blades. Because, like I mentioned, the trailers, they're cool, and they show off a couple moves here and there, but they don't really show off everything. So, I'm just pretty much, it's pretty much going to be that, with uh, doing all that crap. But, there's some other things I want to record before the night is over, so, 
I'm going to end it abruptly right here. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.